Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson, lesson number nine for this workshop. And the topic for this lesson is uh, variables and operators. So these are the two new uh, topics that we are going to introduce in this lesson. So what are the things that we are going to cover here? The first is the variable blocks. Secondly, the operator blocks. Then we'll be looking through some more control blocks and sensing blocks. And finally, uh, we'll be creating some simple games uh, using these four blocks. All right, so let us try and create the second example game. Uh, that is guess the number so what is happening here in this game is that at the beginning of the game a random number will be selected by the program then you will be given three chances or three attempts to guess the number correctly if you fail to do so then you'll uh, get a message on the screen uh, saying that uh, you have got the answer wrong and the correct number is this and if you guess it correctly then you will receive or you will get a congratulatory message on the screen okay so let us get started now getting on with the game here uh, i have one sprite that i've added here uh, it can be any sprite of your choice now the first aspect of the game is to generate a random number now uh, this uh, to generate a random number uh, we'll go to this uh, operators uh, category now this operators category contains many different blocks that performs various operations like the arithmetic operations addition subtraction uh, multiplication division then we have the comparison uh, operators uh, which will check uh, which uh, item is greater or smaller or whether they are equal to each other or not then we have this logical operators also then we have some operators uh, which can be used on text uh, we'll come to them later on so right now uh, we want to focus on this block here which is called as pick random block this block is going to generate us a number between the mentioned range here the range is from 1 till 10 if i click here on this uh, block you can see a randomly generated number that's number nine if i click it again i'm getting a number eight we'll be using this uh, block to generate us a random number uh, so now what we need to do is we need to store this number generated here into some storage space so that we can use it later on in our uh, program now to store any value whether be it a number or a text or a word or a sentence anything we always use uh, variables variable is a storage space or you can just in simple words you can call it as a container that is going to store some values inside it and values can be either a number or a text now to work with variables we'll go to this uh, variables category and these are the blocks available here now in order to work with variable first we need to have a variable and to have a variable we will need to create create it so in order to create a variable so uh, we'll click here on this button make a variable we'll get this new box here we are going to create a new variable and we are going to give it a name so for simplicity i'll just keep the variable name as number and i'll click ok you can see the name of the variable yeah you can see the variable block here and you can also see the variable name and the value it stores that it is uh, storing mentioned here in the stage and by default a variable is always there before we uh, whenever we start our program uh, that and that variable is called as my variable now we do not need this my variable here in our program 
I will just uh, right click on this and I get two options either to rename it or to delete it uh, so I'll just delete this one and I'll keep only one variable for now that is number variable and you can see the variable is checked here so that's why it's being displayed here on this uh, stage if I uncheck it it disappears and this same thing can be done using these two blocks show variable and height variable now I have my variable ready now what I need to do is I need to put this randomly generated number inside my variable for that I'm going to use this set block now what it does is it will set the uh, value which is inside our variable to whatever is mentioned here and right now it is mentioned as zero so that's why we our variable was displaying us with a value zero here uh, we don't want this number zero but we want the randomly generated number uh, so we'll drag this pick random block and put it here so let us make our variable visible and if I click on this set block you can see numbers are being randomly generated and stored inside our variable so that is an introduction to our variable and we'll be using a lot of variables uh, here now next part is that the program should ask user to uh, give a response and basically that response would be uh, uh, the user trying to guess what this number is so in order to get response in order to get a response from the user what we can do is we can go to this sensing category and there is one block here uh, ask block now when we use this ask block the program is going to ask uh, the user uh, something and it expects a response in return so here by default uh, the question is what's your name we'll change it to what's the number since we are trying to uh, guess the number and if I run these two blocks you can see here now the sprite is asking you the user a question what is the number and this is the uh, text box where we are going to put our response so I can put any response here but this since this time we are dealing with numbers so I'll be putting in only numbers and I will press enter once I finish typing and when I press enter to submit my response my response will get stored inside this block answer block and this my response is going to get stored here only temporarily the moment if you have if you use again another ask block ask block uh, later on in your program and when the user puts in a response to that block now whatever value was previously inside this answer block will get overwritten by the new response the user puts so whatever value is here is here inside this answer block is not permanent it is only there temporarily so this temporary storage is not going to help us we need something else so for that we are going to create again another variable which is going to store the response given by the user and since this time the response is supposed to be the number that the user is trying to guess so we'll keep the variable name as guest number okay so our guest number is here and same like before we're going to use this uh, set block again so you can see here this time the variable name is different comparing to the previous set block so if you click here on the variable name you can you will get the list of all the variables which are there in the script so use whichever is uh, applicable and i'm going to put this answer block here and i'm putting this below 
Now the sequence of the program is firstly a random number is generated and stored inside a number variable then the program is going to ask the user to enter the number what the number is and whatever response the user gives will get stored inside another variable called as guest number now what needs to happen next is now these two variables needs to be compared uh, their values needs to be compared to see whether they have the same number or not if they have the same number it means that a user guessed the number correctly if they do not then the user got it wrong so now to check that one so what we can do is we'll go to control uh, category and uh, you might remember this block here if uh, block that we had used in our in our previous task now what happens when you use this if block uh, a condition is set here and if the condition is true the block inside here gets executed and if the condition is false nothing happens but this time what we are going to do is we are going to use another block instead of if we are going to use if else so here two actions will take place either the first one or second one so how it happens is a condition is checked here if the condition is true then the block below if will get executed and if the if the condition is false then the block inside else will get executed so let us build our condition first now the condition is to check whether the number inside guest number variable is same as the number inside number variable to do that we'll go to operators category and we'll use this comparison block this comparison block uh, checks whether the first value is equal to the second value or not let us have a small demo so in the first um, so the first value I'll put it as 40 and the second value I'll keep it as 50 obviously this is false if you click here on this block the response is false now if I try to keep both the values same and if I click on it I'll get here true now we are trying to compare the values inside the two variables uh, I'll drag the first variable and put it here in the first uh, slot then I'll drag the next variable that is number and I will put it here in the second slot now this is my condition trying to check whether the two variables are equal or not now I'll put it here inside this space now this is my condition to check now if the condition is true we can just say uh, we, we can say that the uh, sprite gives a message uh, great you got it right so that would be the um, answer uh, that would be the message you will get when if you guess the number correctly and unfortunately if you don't get it right we can say sorry you guessed it wrong so this is going to be our two response if you guess it correctly uh, you'll get the message great you got it right and if you get the wrong response you'll get the uh, response that is below that is sorry you guessed it wrong I'm going to put it under here and I'm going to events category and I'm going to put this green flag block here <laughs> so let us run our program once and let's see how we are getting and for right now I have kept both the variables visible so that uh, for, for the example purpose all right uh, i've clicked here on the green flag and the random number generated is seven now the program is asking what is the number let us give a wrong response uh, i'll type here nine and i'll press enter you can see it says sorry you guessed it wrong let us run it again 
this time the number is 5 and let us put the correct one 5 and I'll press enter I'm getting the response and great you got it right when we really play this game make sure that you hide the randomly generated number to build the uh, suspense so that the user doesn't know what is the number to be guessed so if i click here what is the number now this becomes hard for me because now i don't have the number i'll put here seven so it says sorry you guessed it wrong so this is the basic uh, version of this game welcome to the second part of this tutorial uh, this is where we left in the first part now we are left with one major component uh, of this game that is the user gets three chances or three attempts to get the correct number so as of now uh, when we run our program here the user will be getting only one chance only one uh, attempt to get the correct number no, but we want to make sure that the user gets a maximum of three chances so what should happen is firstly the random number is stored inside the number variable then user is asked the question to guess the correct number then the response is stored inside the guessed number then these two variables are compared and if they are same this message is displayed and if they are if they're not same then the else part gets executed now if the user gets three chances so how should the uh, logic how should the algorithm be is firstly random number is generated and stored inside number variable then user is asked the question to guess the number then the response is saved inside the guest number variable then the guest number variable and the number variable are compared and let's say user gets it wrong for the first time so this message is displayed then again the same question needs to be asked to the user for the second time user will again give a response and the variables will be again checked and let's say again for the second time also the user gets it wrong then again the question will be asked for the third and final time then user will give a response then if they will be checked and since this is the last time whether the user gets it correct or not the program needs to stop so that is the logic here now so basically what we need to do is we need to make sure that this block of code uh, is executed three times if the user is getting the wrong answer so for this purpose to execute same blocks uh, again and again uh, usually we use this uh, repeat block we have used this before so everyone knows what uh, this repeat uh, block does so if i put my blocks here inside so it basically means that these blocks will execute continuously and repeatedly for 10 times and in our case here you should be running three times now with further some more um, adjustments and few more addition of blocks uh, this repeat block can work for a program but I don't want to use this uh, repeat block but instead I want to use another block here that is repeat until block now this is uh, somewhat similar to the repeat block and now in repeat block we mentioned how many times we want to repeat the code but here if you use this uh, repeat until block what will happen is the blocks will get repeatedly executed until and unless a condition is met which is uh, which the condition will be uh, here in this space so if i put my blocks here inside so what will happen basically is that these blocks of code will continuously run Will continuously get executed until the condition here becomes true so which means as long as the condition is not met or the condition is becoming false these blocks of code will continuously execute and the moment the condition here becomes true then the 
execution of this codes will stop and you will get out of this loop so this is basically what will happen here so first let me put this repeat until block here under here now we need to set up the condition first now the condition here is user should use all the three uh, chances if the user is getting the wrong answer so for that uh, let us have a new variable again I will call this new variable as attempts so this attempts uh, variable is going to store how many chances the user has and now I'm going to set the value of this uh, attempts variable uh, I will select here attempts and I will put the value as 3 and I will put it here above the repeat until block so what will happen here is whenever we start whenever we run our program here the attempts variable value will always be set as 3 because while running the game in the if if you are running the game and somehow you finish uh, you finish up all the attempts then the attempt will become 0 then again when you run your program the attempt uh, value needs to be again set to 3 so this is going to do the work now next is I need to set the condition here now the condition like I said the program is going to run until unless the condition becomes true so for the programs sorry for the blocks to run inside this repeat until block the condition has to be false and the moment it becomes true they will stop so I will go to this uh, operators um, category and then again again you will I will use this comparison equal to block so what I will do here is I will try to see whether my attempts variable value is equal to zero or not and I will put this one as the condition here so now what will happen is now when we run our program the attempts variable will get a value 3 now now this repeat until block will check whether the attempts value is equal to 0 or not so it is not 0 it is 3 so that means that the uh, that means that the condition is false since it is false now the blocks will start executing now the question is asked to the user user guesses the number and let's say the user uh, somehow gets it wrong so we'll again put some more blocks uh, which is going to reduce the value of the attempts and and again the repeat block will again check whether the attempts value is again uh, zero or not still if it is not equal to zero then it will continue running the program until unless the attempts value becomes zero now we will put one more uh, we will use one more block from this variable uh, uh, category that is change now this time what we are going to do is we are going to change the value of attempts variable and what we are going to what we are supposed to do here is if the user gets the wrong answer the number of attempts left for the user should decrease by one so which means the atom variables value should decrease by one so we'll put here change the attempts variables value by negative one and this should happen when the user gets the wrong answer so i will put it here under else part so now let's see what will happen so at first attempts value is set to 3 now the repeat until block will check whether the attempts value is equal to 0 or not it is not equal to 0 right now so now so now the program starts running user is asked the question and somehow the user gets the wrong answer so this message is displayed and along with it the attempts variable value gets decreased by 1 negative 1 so now the attempts variable 
has a value 2. Again, the repeat until block will check whether attempts uh, variable has a value 0 or not. It is not equal to 0, it is 2. Again, the block will run. And let's say again the user gets it wrong. So again, the attempts variable value will again decrease by 1. So now this time the uh, attempts variable value is 1. Again, repeat until val uh, repeat until block is going to check whether attempts variable value is equal to 0 or not. It is not equal to 0. And again, it will run for the third time. And still, if the user gets it wrong, then the attempts variable value again decreases by 1. So now this time, the attempts variable value becomes 0. Now, repeat until block will check whether the attempts variable value is equal to 0 or not. Yes, this, this time it becomes 0. So now the execution of these blocks stops and you will get out of this loop. So basically, that is the logic here. So let us run our program. Let's see what happens. So the number to be guessed, the random number generated is 5. And I have uh, three attempts left here right now. So let us guess wrongly. So I'll put here 9. It says, sorry, you guessed it wrong. Now you can see. Now this time it is again asking me the same question. And if you see here, now the attempts left is 2. Again, I'll guess a wrong number. Let's say 4. It says, sorry, you guessed it wrong. Now I'm left with one attempt. Now this time also, I'll guess a wrong number. I'll say one. It says, sorry, you guessed it wrong. And now the program has stopped. So you can see here, so this is how it works. Now let us try, let us again, let us try to run our program once again. So this time, the number to be guessed is four. And let's say I put in the wrong, uh, sorry, I put in the right number. Now, if I put the right number, then and there the program should stop, isn't it? But when I gave the right number, it says, great, you got it right. But again, the program is running. So there is something wrong or maybe we uh, missed something or we need to put some more blocks to make it correct. So basically what is happening here is, so if you go through our program once again, attempts value is equal to three. Now this repeat until block checks whether it is equal to zero or not. So it is not equal to zero. So this blocks gets executed. Now the question is asked to the user. The user gives uh, the correct answer. Uh, sorry, let's say the user gets the right answer. So under if uh, condition so the condition here becomes true so this part gets executed so it says great you got it right so yes we got it right but we are still inside this repeat until block only and the attempts value has not changed it is still three so it is still three so again the repeat until block will check whether the attempts value is equal to zero or not it is not zero it is three it has not changed it has not decreased or it has not increased also it has not changed so it is still three and the same question will be again asked to the user and again the user gives in the right answer this message again will be displayed great you got it right but again nothing no change is happening to this attempts variable so we will be stuck inside this uh, repeat until uh, loop only so our program will be stuck here only inside this loop only. So now one thing we need is if the now for if the user gives uh, the wrong answer three times. So by the time user gives three wrong answers, the attempts value becomes zero. And because of that, we will get out of this loop. But when the user gets uh, when the user gives the correct answer, somehow we get stuck inside. So we need something to get out of this uh, repeat until block if the user gives correct answer. Uh, we will not use this uh, change attempts here. Uh, instead of that, what we can do is we have another control uh, category block. Uh, we have called something called a stop. So if we use this uh, 
block in our program and if this block gets executed then whatever execution is happening in our program stops then and there and nothing more happens in our program so what i'll do here is i will drag this uh, stop so i will take this one and i will put it here so now basically what will happen is if the user uh, if the user has guessed the correct number then the, this message great you got it right will come and right after it this stop block gets executed and because of this stop block everything stops so let us see here so we all uh, saw what happens when we give three consecutive wrong answers so now this time let's see what we what we will get if we give the right answer now the number is five so i'll put in here five and i will press enter it says great you got it right then there and there then and there the program stops and this is because of that stop block so this stop block is uh, helpful if the program needs to stop when certain condition is met so this is how we can uh, further uh, improvise and uh, further make our program more interesting now to make it more if some more interesting we can have some some messages being saved by the sprite so we can see here kuzo zangpo and i will add here again one more c block and i'll say welcome to the welcome to guess the number game then i'll add one more c block it will say you will get three attempts to get uh, instead of get i'll say to guess the correct number okay so these things are these three c blocks are not uh, necessary they are just optional and this is just to make our program much more interesting so if i run my program here now so i'll say kuzangpola then welcome to the guess the number game you will get three attempts to guess the correct number now what is the number so if i so the number is three if i press here three it says great you got it right now that is fine uh, now when you get the number correct you will know what is the correct number but if you are not able to guess the number even after three attempts then and let's say we hide the number here so and if the user continuously gets the wrong answer then the user will never know what is the correct answer so in order to in order to for the in order for the user to know what the correct number is if they are continuously getting the wrong answer what we can have here is we can have one more uh, C block and we will use one more uh, this time we'll again go to operators category and we'll use a new block this is called as join block now what this join block does is that it joins two uh, values together and most of the time we use words only so it will join two words together to form a phrase or a sentence so you can see here right now we have two words here apple and banana you just click here on this block so you'll see here now they are joined together to form a phrase apple and banana now if you say this is and then i'll leave it up to here then i'll continue in the next slot
So what I have typed here is in the first slot I typed this is N and in the second slot I have typed interesting game. Now if I click here on this block, okay so this is one example here and one thing to make sure is after the first phrase uh, which you have typed in the uh, first slot, don't forget to put one space because if you don't put any space then what will happen is when you run it uh, when you run this uh, block you can see that there is no space here so either keep a space at the end of the first slot or if not that then keep a space at the beginning of the second slot so this will also work so what I need here is now I need to join too far I will join here uh, I'll say here sorry you couldn't get the number full stop then the number was so this is the first part of my sentence and in the second part here what I'll do is I will go to my variables category and I will drag this number and here so basically what I will get here is sorry you couldn't get the number the number was the value which is stored inside this number variable and this join block I will put it here inside this say block and I'm going to put it here at the last so what will happen here is uh, if somehow user gets in the wrong number in all the three attempts so what will happen is the program will get outside will get out of this repeat uh, until block and finally this will this say block will show you what the number actually was so let us run our program here once so i didn't display the number up there so let's see whether I get a number the correct or not. So four is not the correct number. Let's try two. Two is also not the correct number. Let's try one. So sorry, you guessed it wrong. So sorry, you couldn't get the number. In or instead, uh, this save block is going to display the uh, display the message only for two seconds. Uh, so instead of this save block, I will use another save block which does not have any time time period so like this and let us make our number variable also visible so the number to be guessed is 2 so let us guess the wrong number so 8 is wrong 6 is also wrong then 4 is also wrong so at this end it says sorry you couldn't get the number the number was 2 so at the end if the user is somehow getting the wrong answers so this message will show you what the number was so this is the end of this uh, tutorial so thank you so much